What's up, G Show Land? And welcome to another episode of the G Show Podcast. I am G1, and this is the Godzilla Block Party. But don't let that fool you, motherfuckers. We here live, we're not really live, but we're here because holy shit, holy shit. Today, April 19th, Wednesday, when I should be watching my AEW wrestling, no! Big news broke because today, Legendary dropped the very first teaser for their new MonsterVerse movie. And holy motherfucker, it ain't much, but it's enough to warrant a podcast that not only involves me, but Brother Chase, obviously, JR, obviously, and Gam Gam T1. <laughs> this is crazy. We've got a full house up in this Godzilla block party. So let me say hello to each and every one of you. Starting with my sin from another crib. Cam Cam Z1, what the hell? How's everybody doing? We got some more MonsterVerse outside of the Apple TV Plus show. Finally, 100% confirmed. Exciting news, exciting news. JR, we're back at the Godzilla block party, my friend. Did anyone else think of the Jungle Book when they saw this teaser? I'm going to punch this dude right through the computer. And of course, joining me in my right hand when it comes to Godzilla on the black body on the G Show, G73, a.k.a. Megzi, a.k.a. my brother Chase. What the hell's going on? Gosh, man, I've been... In the past couple of days, I've been having dreams and premonitions of the next MonsterVerse, and I'm glad it happened today. Because I literally had a dream last night about, like, the next MonsterVerse. So I'm kind of, like, just kind of, like, in a parallel of, like, what the hell? That's a little bit scary. <laughs> it's probably all that buttery. I feel like the main character of the story. It's all that buttery popcorn you're eating at work, brother. All the buttery popcorn you're eating. I don't like popcorn. <laughs> it's all the chocolate-covered almonds. <laughs> there it is. Well, listen, this is crazy because, honestly, we had scheduled a Godzilla block party for tomorrow. Thursday, in which we were going to talk about all the speculation of this film, all of the rumors and things that were going around at the time. Also, we were going to talk about the Toho Godzilla movie and just random other Godzilla topics. But then this drops. My brother texts me while I'm at work, and he's just blowing my phone up. And I'm like, he usually doesn't do this because his job requires him to be focused. And 36 seconds of Godzilla. Uh, first off, let's just count out of that. Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire. There's the title for your new movie. I love it. I don't care what anybody else thinks. We were saying Godzilla slash Kong, Godzilla V Kong. Remember, it was Godzilla and Kong. It's Godzilla X Kong. Straight out the Millennium Series, people. Straight out the Millennium Era. Godzilla X Kong. I love it. I'm going to start with you, Gam Gams, since it's been a while since you've been on a Godzilla block party. What do you think of this title? Just the title off the bat. Just the title? Okay. Yeah, it invokes a lot of Millennium Saga. It also invokes a lot of shipping uh, words. Godzilla X-Kong. Oh, my God. Oh. My boys are finally coming out. Oh. I'm so proud of them. Oh, and here I sit wearing my Godzilla, <laughs> my Godzilla versus Kong hat that is very, very colorful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> funny. Rise Got of... that bisexual lighting going on. Yeah. Remember that from from the Godzilla versus Kong trailer? Everybody was talking about that. Oh, that's great. But in all seriousness, uh, the new empire is, I guess an interesting title to have what the heck is it about the hollow earth is it about the above world is that going to be the new empire for the titans i don't know it's 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 certainly got some to do with something else in the trailer probably that i noticed that i hope we could get to talk about later we are getting into everything we're going to dissect this damn trailer as well as go over some speculative things that some of y'all might have heard. Just we, we, We're going to talk about it all. JR, Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. Well, I saw it on Twitter, and, you know, everyone was like, oh, so they kiss? I'm like, holy shit. 
Now, the Godzilla X Kong, I'm glad. Like, Godzilla and Kong, that's just dumb. Godzilla slash Kong. Like, Godzilla X Kong. Yeah, it makes me think of Godzilla X Mecha Godzilla. Or, you know, whatever. Or X against. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? You know what? I I started drinking. Listen. I started drinking. Anyways. So, I like that. The new Empire? Not gonna lie. I rolled my eyes. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. What is this? What is this? The Lord of the Rings. It's a goddamn... Godzilla film, the new empire of what? Of what? Who gives a shit? But yeah, um, the new empire part has me a little like, what are you doing? Well, the whole trailer has me a little, what are you doing? But I kind of wish they went Godzilla and Kong. And it would have been set in Seattle. It was a romance film. Nicolas Cage is Godzilla. And then, you know, you get Rosa... So some someone else's car. I was gonna say Rosa Parks. I don't know why that popped into my head. Anyways, I'm done. Well, I just want to real quick point out that the new empire. You not like it? Toho is notorious for doing things like that. I mean, they did it in the entire show era. They did. I mean, like yeah. Godzilla X, Mokra X, Mecha Godzilla, decisive battle for Tokyo. I mean, for crying out fucking loud, this ain't nothing new. This has been going on since you've been a Godzilla fan. But I digress. Brother yeah. Chase, Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. Um, it has me definitely interested. I'm more interested about the trailer itself than the name. Um, but. Uh, I mean, from the earlier synopsis, it sounds like they're going hard on what they already said they're doing. So uh, I'm stoked about it. I'm just interested on, yeah, <laughs> we'll get in, we'll get into that stuff because I don't want to go too forward into it. But um, I feel like we're all thinking the same thing now that I'm hearing everybody speak. But um, I, uh, I don't have an issue with it. Um, but I think. It's one of those things where we'll have to see more to kind of go along with this new Empire thing. But from the looks of that teaser trailer, to me, I feel like they already gave away the whole film. Well, yeah. Really? We're, we're going yes. to get into that. Personally, I love this and title. By the way, Toho just put up a synopsis for this film Hang already, on to it. like 10 minutes ago. Hang on to Did it. Did they? Hang on to it. We'll get to it. I personally love the title. I love the subtitle. I love the the new empire. To me, it just reeks more movies. That's all it does. And honestly, the more the fucking merrier. And if this does tie into the MonsterVerse show on Apple TV, great. Give it to me. Let, let this all connect the way DC wants to do their connecting movies and games and shows and all that. Let the, Make this work. I love it. I love the X in the Godzilla X Kong. I really, really do because, again... It's just, a, to me, it's an homage to the Millennium Era, and I, I love that stuff. So, I'm all in for this title. I'm all in for the new Empire. I'm all in for Caesar, because that's what that reminded me of. But let's get into the trailer. I mean, it's a 30-second teaser, really 30-second cock tease. It starts out with what one could assume would have been Kong sitting on the throne in the Hollow Earth. Although I, I'll be, I, it's not calm. To me, it's not. Uh, camera's focused up, close up, then it starts pulling back, revealing more and more of what he's sitting in, in, behind and what's in front of him. And it's just a bunch of bones and bones and bones and skeletons and bones and carcasses and bones until you finally get to the two skulls, one of Godzilla and one of Kong. And they light up Godzilla's blue, Kong's orange, you hear the roars, bam, fade out. Oh wait, and and the simian sitting in the in the throne, eyes starts to light up as the camera's pulling away from him. Thought that was cool. Boom, get to the skulls. They light up. There's roars, bam, title card. Godzilla X Kong, the New Empire, fades. Then there's a freaking close up of an ape. Is it Kong? We don't know, but within the ape's eyes, gives away a lot. Because not only can you see the orange, but just see the blue. Fade out, 
March 2024. Holy shit, less than a year, and this movie will be here. March 15th. Don't matter. March 2024. Literally six months after the Toho drops a Godzilla movie. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Hear me out. Could you imagine if Toho, through Fathom Event, drops that Godzilla movie in theaters, and then two weeks later, Godzilla X Kong comes out? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. So, all right, that's the basic synopsis of the trailer. Now let's break it down and see what we think. And I'm going to start with you, JR, because you were the first one in the group chat to throw it up, and you, I know you want to say stuff, so let's hear it. Movie do, I want to be like you. Sorry, I just get that vibe for some reason. You know, thinking of Jungle Book. Um, so it's obviously an orangutan. Um, and I said it in another Facebook chat that I'm a part of, Anthony's Bitches. And I said it in a voice chat or a voice message, and I straight up was like, oh. So remember Godzilla versus Kong, where Godzilla and Kong fought and then teamed up to fight Mecha Godzilla? I can't wait in this movie till Godzilla and Kong fight and then they team up to fight an atomic breath breathing monkey because that's kind of where I see this going from this little trailer. Um, is it a bad thing? I don't know. I didn't particularly... Okay, I'll say it. I fucking hated Godzilla vs. Kong, so I'm not excited, really, and it, it'll be interesting how they implement it. Obviously, I can be off, but we all know Godzilla and Kong are going to fight again because there's another Kong species out there, and you know Kong's going to swear allegiance to him, and he's going to be like, go fight giant lizard. And, you know, there's going to be conflict between them. They'll fight. They'll have their day. And I'm sure they'll team up to fight it. But I said beat for beat. Wow. This is oddly familiar. It's almost like they're doing Godzilla versus Kong again, just swapping place and enemy, which can be fine. We're Godzilla fans. It happens quite often. But I don't know. It just kind of was like rubbing me the wrong way a little bit. And... Someone did point this out, and I have to agree. This new villain really does look like the 1962 Kong. I, I, it was, like, spot on. And I was like, you pointed that out, and now I can't unsee it. So in my head, I was like, okay, I'd give movie, this movie, like, points if it was the 1962 Kong for whatever reason. <laughs> like, I'd give it points for that. But yeah, cautiously optimistic, like always. Um, and yeah, the I just have a feeling it, this 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 orangutan enemy. He's gonna have. He's gotta have some. He's got the blue eyes. He's gotta have Godzilla's atomic breath in some form. It could be the pulse, like pulse fists or something, where he can't actually breathe it. Pulse fists would work. Something cool like that. Um, and obviously, you know, we know the lore. Godzilla came in and destroyed the Kong's civilization in ancient times. This, this, um, orangutan's obviously going to have a grudge. I mean, you see the bones. So I'm, I'm sure either that or he's just killing Kaiju. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to get the gist of it, especially from the synopsis, which I read earlier, but pretty much forgot because I had a 10 hour shift today, but there were kind of like hints of something similar to that. So it, it'll be interesting. And I really kind of hope, but there's a big criticism of mine in Godzilla versus Kong about the hollow earth. I almost want this to take entirely like place entirely in the hollow earth. Just separate it. If we're going that direction, if we're just, Throwing it up, getting rid of realism, make it 100% take place in the Hollow Earth. And I think, I think I'll enjoy it a little bit more than Godzilla vs. Kong, but we'll see. I mean, bigger orangutan. 
I love how I love how you get <laughs> all of that in 36 seconds. <laughs> From 30, I love it. But that's what speculation is, and that's the best part. Gam Gam, yeah. I'm going to go to you because I know Brother Chase. I want you to spill your beans and also give us the total synapses. So I'm going to start with Gam Gams. Okay, so my my thoughts are very similar to JR's because I as well do not enjoy Godzilla vs. Kong that much. And knowing that Adam Wingard is the one directing this, the, I, I could possibly see it being a copy-paste job, though not quite. I, I, I have the distinct feeling that... Because Godzilla's domain is above the Hollow Earth, it's gonna start uh, like on the Earth Earth, like like normal, and it's probably going to be this new orangutan monkey guy coming up, picking a fight with Godzilla, and then somehow Godzilla calls upon Kong, and Kong comes to help Godzilla because they homies now because of their shared trauma of dealing with the giant death robot um and then when kong shows up and sees it's one of his people that's when the tensions will start and the loyalties will be thrown out of whack so to speak i'm not entirely sure i kind of hope with a title that's the new empire, it's the the scale is a little more grand than what you're proposing, Jr. With more titans, because like the, the just a copy paste of Godzilla versus Kong, we'll we'll be lucky if we see the the, the, the fucking snake things again. And it, it do like a destroy all monsters thing with it with that title. I. I a kind of like my biggest disappointment is this new villain that it's another one of Kong's species. Okay, hear me out. It's good for Kong, but this will be the second movie that Godzilla takes a backseat, and I want fucking a, a, a big bad like f- uh, like fucking Kaiser Ghidorah or something. I re- I remember Space Godzilla was mentioned. See, that's what the podcast tomorrow was supposed to be all about. You know, the speculations in the rumor mill. Space Godzilla. Okay, slow down, but all right, let's entertain it. Um, I'll tell you what, to me, the new empire means. Seatopians! Oh, let's go. yes! Oh, oh I would have loved it if Megalon showed up. Let me tell you something. I I see this the, this title, New Empire, and I... Yeah, we see the orangutan. They, listen, that thing has a bunch of followers... They are going to find something in the Hollow Earth that is not just the Titan, but human. And I'm all down for it. But, Brother Chase, do you want to give the synapses yeah. and your thoughts? Or your thoughts and then the synapses? Um, I'll give my thoughts and then the synapses. All right. So I'm going to tell you you're all wrong. It's not an orangutan. It is an older, exiled Kong species. For one, um, also, if you look at him, he looks very old and withered. He looks like a very, very old ape. And as we know, I mean, if it is an orangutan, that's a whole thing they never brought up. But there's no point to it to be an orangutan. What they did talk about many times, of there being older and plenty old Kong species from the Kong family, uh, older apes and gorillas. Now, if it's an orangutan, whatever, but I don't think it's an orangutan. I think it is a grandfather Kong. Um, I think it is one that was exiled a long time ago before Godzilla, because they talk about how Godzilla exiled all, all of the apes and stuff. And, uh, when they had that big old war and battle, um, and I think what this is is all right. Now I'll go into the synopsis. Wait, wait, wait. Last you, summer, when we, wait, what you just said, what I think this is is, and then you now go into the synopsis. What do you think it is? Yeah, because because I'm trying to I'm trying to catch myself before I'm too ahead. Um, last summer they dropped the first synopsis. Which specifically says this. Um, the 
latest entry follows up the explosive showdown of Godzilla vs. Kong with an all-new cinematic adventure, pitting the almighty Kong and the fearsome Godzilla against a colossal undiscovered threat hidden within our world, challenging their very existence in our own. The epic new film will deliver further into the histories of these titans and their origins and the mysteries of Kong Skull Island and beyond while uncovering the myth battle that helped forge these extraordinary beings and tied them to their uh, humankind forever. Uh, there's also another synopsis that dropped, talked about how there's going to be a conflict up on the top of the Earth, which they're saying that uh, Godzilla will be dealing with, and a problem in the Hollow Earth itself. So there, in my opinion, that means there is multiple enemies, and they said something about a collision course on how Godzilla and Kong cross paths, and that like they're set for that. And um, I think that's all connected. It's not just going to be about this. I think Kong is going to deal with this old man ape, and you want to talk about how he gets the moniker King Kong? Well, he overthrows this man and takes the throne. That's how he gets his moniker, because he did not get it in King Godzilla vs. Kong. Um, and then also, um, with the problem on top of the surface, I wouldn't be surprised if they did something like, I don't know, Space Godzilla or something. Because if this is, if this is called the New Empire, what creatures are going to be trying to overthrow these creatures for their thrones? And I could see it being a Kong archetype and a Godzilla archetype, or you know something completely different. But I would I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but I could see it all ending up in the Hollow Earth at the final big battle of both villains and Kong and Godzilla fighting together with that. But um, that's where my brain's going with it. But I don't think it's an orangutan. I think it's a Kong species. Because also in that trailer, if you look, that Kong has really small arms. He's not as buff as Kong is, and like he just looks old and withered. His and he arms does not are look small. Well, yes, but they're all so just really, really. Just he just looks old. Well, but, but like Kong Gam is a lot more beefier. So yeah, but like Gam Games was saying, and 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 this is where it lends credence to the whole orangutan thing. The arms are thin and long, like an orangutan's. Yeah, but that just kind of would be a weird thing for them to do when they've had this whole entire lore and family based off of Kong having thousands of, of relatives, and then now they have just this orangutan thrown left field. I just think that's just kind of like... I mean, if it is an orangutan, fine, but I just don't think that's what it is. I think that just would be a random thing. It's okay, a, but just, like, what if what if the Titanus Kong species isn't just the the the, the genotype of a, of a gorilla? What if the, the 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 genus of Titanus Kong just looks like multiple great apes? Like we could have some look like gorillas. We could have someone look like chimpanzees. We could have someone look like is some that look like orangutans. And that could be that, could, and that totally could be. And in that case, then we have giant planet of the apes. That's but exactly I just, I, I don't know. I just don't think it's an orangutan. That's why I called it Caesar. I think it's an old Kong. I think it's an old Kong. It, it, that's why I called it Caesar. It was a giant. It was giant planet of the apes. I mean, and Maurice. Maurice was the orangutan. Yeah, <laughs> I know. But I mean, like you see him sitting on the throne. Caesar was the king. Planet of the apes. Um. You's all missing the point here. You's all three of y'all missing the point here. Because what we are getting is a quasi-reboot to 1986's King Kong Lives. And what we see seen on the throne is not King Kong, it's Queen Kong. And that's why Kong is all oh. like, oh yeah, now fuck that. I'm gonna get some of that. So Godzilla, me, you're gonna have to fight again. And I'm gonna have to prove my dominance by whipping your ass so I can tap that ass. That's how that's going down. That's how that's going Saggy down. Saggy ass. That's how it's going down. Saggy. That's how it's going down. You see the <laughs> eyes and shit? When the eyes start glowing and shit, be careful. It's like, a old, it's like old hole and oil. Oh, old hole and oats music. You know? Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. Whoa, whoa, here she come. Don't look at her eyes. Don't look at her eyes. I'm telling y'all don't get it. That's what it is. <laughs> it's King Kong lives. I can't wait. <laughs> 
<laughs> but no, I mean, look. Oh, so, wait. So, the Toho official synopsis, you read that one to us? Or? Yeah, that's this. I'll read it again. It was like, oh, yeah, this movie's coming out, and it's going to be like Kong and Godzilla again, and Godzilla's going to fight up top, and Kong's going to fight down low. Yeah, that was the synopsis from last summer, but this is the one they just post. In this newly revealed, uh, a, uh, let's see here, a dark and ominous scene is set against amongst a boneyard with two familiar-looking skulls seen at the end. The epic new film will delve further into the histories of these titans, their origins, and the mysteries of Skull Island and beyond. While uncovering the mythic battle that helped forge these extraordinary beings and tied them to humankind forever. Okay. We're all radioactive. Yep. Oh man. Oh man, we're going oh, we're going final wars here with the mutants. We're going King Kong lives. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna debunk personally for me the space Godzilla theme. Because we already had the Godzilla archetype in the last movie. You had Mecha Godzilla. It doesn't get any more Godzilla archetype than that. I don't think it's Space Godzilla. Although, if they were going to introduce Space Godzilla, I wouldn't necessarily make him a Space Godzilla more than along the lines of a Super Godzilla. Because maybe, just maybe, those crystals in the Hollow Earth, he, you know, he gets crystallized, um... The, the, and it looks like Space Godzilla. It just doesn't come from space. I could see that because we know that Godzilla is the last of its species the way we know Kong is the last of his. But apparently, that seems to be getting thrown out the window here. So, okay, not but, Space Godzilla, but, but, but Space Godzilla. Uh, but G1... Yes. Didn't Space Godzilla's debut movie come after Mechagodzilla? Oh, slap me in the face and call me little Susie. Susie. Hey, all I'm saying is the original Baggin shape-shifted. That's all I'm saying. I'm, listen. Listen, if it's Baggin, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm still, oh, oh. Well, all right, so here's a crazy random thought. What if this, going back to what JR said, I love the idea because on you see you see the atomic energy in this Kong's eyes, right? You see it. Yeah. I love the ideas of the atomic pulse fist. I think that's actually fucking brilliant. And I want that now. Now that you've said it, like, I'll be disappointed. <laughs> if it's not there, right? <laughs> it's a cool ass idea, it's just man. A, it's such a great idea because I always love the pulse. So I was I was going under the impression, like, what if this is a hybrid Godzilla Kong, Kongzilla? Like, granted, you can tell there's no spikes on its back, and it's definitely simian. But what if that's the ruse? Or it is back, and these shapeshifts, and all. I mean, <laughs> we could go straight up Japanese and have some kind of weird transformation, straight up Dragon Ball Z type. This isn't even my final form, and I'm all in. And I'm all in. Or, or here, here we go, here we go. Or space, which is not really space, but Super Godzilla, and this Orangakong fusion, bam! And there you go. You get the Super Kong. You get the Super Kongzilla. Oh, God, Super Kongzilla. You know what worries me, that. though, about the synopsis is how it talks about fighting on the surface and in the hollow earth. If they're doing that simultaneously, like, this movie's going to get very jumbled really fast. Because I'm already, like, wait, there's going to be fighting there and up there. Like, this ain't fucking Return of the King, okay? We're not storming fucking Mordor while fucking Middle Earths and Shambles and Sauron's taking over, like... Can we just have a fucking location where they fight instead of doing all this split shit? Well, I gotta It totally, bothers me a little bit. I, I gotta totally disagree with you there. It doesn't have to be Return of the King, because that is a poor, poor comparison. What it could be is Return of the Jedi. Now suck that easy and smoke that out to crack pipe. 
because Return yeah, of the but- Jedi did it right. You had him in space. You yeah, had him yes, on the ground. But- you had him in the wormhole. I mean, in the Death Star. You do something similar well, to that. And then again, I mean, and again, it's all speculation, hypotheticals. If it is a subterranean species of man that is this new empire, it could be just that. It could be. And like, it, it jumbles the focus. And that's a problem. Like, I love, actually, Return of the Jedi is my favorite Star Wars film. Because it's the um, best one. <laughs> it is. But the problem with that movie is is focus. It was Luke's story and all the other characters, you know, they had their arc already, and it loses focus. It wasn't about having an arc That's, at that particular point. It was about the grand finale. Luke yeah. had to deal with Vader. They had to deal with the Death Star, so they had to destroy the shield generator. It was a simple building blocks. It's uh, we need to get from if we need to get to point C to point C, but we need to go to point A and B, and it, and it fits and it's perfect and it can be done. And I'll give props to Return of the King. No, wait. But Return of the King wasn't a jumbled mess. It was one big battle at the end. They really wasn't going yeah, in all different directions. But that's the thing that I'm trying to say is, like, we're going to have all these battles all over the place, like Return of the King, because it had all the battles. And it's like, dude, can we just, like, focus it? Just focus. That's one thing that bothers me about Return of the King and Return of the Jedi. Just focus it. I don't know. I, I feel like Return of the Jedi was focused. I mean, it could be worse. It could be John Wick 4. Listen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two of my friends just went to see that. They fucking loved it. So this weekend, I have to tell them why they're wrong. Not yeah. only they're wrong, they're stupid. <laughs> just just <laughs> push. Because I know John Wick Chai's coming. What? Oh, God. Sorry. What did you say? I said I loved it too, just because I know John Wick Five's coming. Oh yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that that ending was a false ending. Oh, it's, oh yeah, there's no doubt. No, I was I, so I was talking to the wifey about the teaser trailer earlier, and um, she didn't like it. She's on the same page as me because she didn't like Godzilla versus Kong. But we we kind of came up with something else, and we were just like, what if it just wasn't? What if they just like yeah, Toho monsters are expensive, but wouldn't it have been cooler? If it was Biolante, but not mutated Godzilla, but could be, and just her tentacles and vines, she's poisoning the Earth, and they got to team up to fight her, and she's genetically mutating Titans. It was like, why do we got to be old ape? Like, I hate, I'm tired of apes. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, we probably would have gotten that if they got... Uh... If they got the other guy back, who did King of the Monsters? I oh yeah, you mean the him. the good director, Michael Doherty? Yeah, him. First off, yeah. first off, and I've been given this thought because of you, because of all of you. I never hated King of the Monsters. I hated certain things about it. We all know this, right? The monster yeah. scenes were done with great uh, care. I'm given that. The, the, the fight scenes were definitely they showed the the intense and they showed the immensity of these monsters when Godzilla and King Ghidorah go at it in, in Antarctica in Fenway Park in the fucking water where Rodan had a bus out the volcano it's impactful it feels good it feels right but Godzilla kicked Kong's ass so you know Godzilla vs. Kong is so much better than that fucking movie cause I, I don't give a fuck Fuck Kong. No, let me stop. Let me stop. Um, I gave it thought. I do like. I, I don't hate that movie, but I don't want to see that dude direct another movie. I don't. I keep him away from the monster verse. Keep him away because honestly, I thought Wingard, Wingard did a better job with the narrative. The monster scenes that that could be an argument. That could be a, for me personally. I think the, the monster scenes in Godzilla vs Kong look better. Because not only do we get night fights, we get day fights. And it looks good. It's, it's a beautiful out. thing to look at. I, 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 I'm, t- I'm just saying. T- time out. Time out. Hold on. You said what? that Wingard did a better narrative? I can give you that Wingard has better j- jokes and better um, better lines. By, by narrative, I meant that. By, and I, or jokes. That's what I, I meant. Hold that's on. I meant. He cut the bad um, shit out. He cut the... the, he cut the 
the the jokes that should never have been in a Godzilla movie, he cut them out. And I respect I'm going to shut all of you down and say Gareth Edwards did that the best because that is the most straightforward, great story Godzilla film that the MonsterVerse has put out. And that's still my favorite Godzilla movie. I, mean, I didn't want to put that in there I mean, because, I mean, it was Godzilla and I Mito. mean, you're not wrong. I'd have liked if Gareth Edwards came back. And I'm glad he's coming back for a couple episodes of the TV show. Wait, wait, has that <laughs> been confirmed? Come back for a movie. Wait, that's confirmed? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's confirmed. <laughs> All praise be to the big G. <laughs> but no, um, and this was another thing I was talking to the wifey about. Because I, I want your guys' input on this as well. Because we were talking, it was like, you know, Mecha, Mecha Godzilla was, it was forced, and I didn't, we didn't feel his villainous impact as much. But it was like, King Ghidra, for me, like, that sh- that's like end-all, be-all to a point with Godzilla. Like, he's Godzilla's arch-nemesis, his arch-rival, and he killed him. What could you possibly pull out after that? That would match King Ghidra's strength and power that Godzilla couldn't overcome. Yeah, he had to go burning mode because they supercharged him. There were still points in King of the Monsters where he was stomping Ghidra's ass, and he did fucking freeze him to begin with yeah. by, you know, taking him down into the ice. So it was a valid point we were bringing up. It was like, okay, so we have New Monkey. How is that more powerful than Ghidra? Well, I mean, to get to the Mecha Godzilla point, in every single Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla movie that's ever been made, Godzilla gets its ass handed. Damn. Oh, yeah. Mecha Godzilla, in every single one, and I may be wrong because I only seen that animated trilogy second part once, and from what I remember, it never actually turned into Mecha Godzilla. So I can't it never even call did, it. No. Yeah, so I, I'm going to exclude that. But from Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla 74 to. Uh, Terror of Mechagodzilla 75, to Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 93, to the Kiru Saga, to Godzilla vs. Kong, in every iteration, Mechagodzilla thoroughly whips Godzilla's ass. Thoroughly. So, and, and you gotta remember, in this particular movie, he was possessed by King Ghidorah, so it was even double. It was That's even a, double. But it's... It's just like that point. Like it's like, what do you do? I, I, and that's maybe like me. Just like maybe they blew their load too soon with King of the Monsters by having Mothra, Ghidra, and Rodan well, way that's, early. That's exactly what happened, though. If you go back and like read and pay attention to the interviews, they were in a rush to get because Godzilla vs. Kong was finished before. King of the Monsters. They already had that in the bag. They were just doing minor stuff here and there, and then they did reshoots and totally a whole bunch of stuff with Godzilla vs. Kong. And the problem is, you go back and watch all these interviews with, with Michael Doherty, he loses confidence in his film. And he says many times, you bring multiple people to the showing if you want more MonsterVerse. Because it shifts from the Comic Con all the way to the part before the movie launched, like like a month before when he did his last interview. You can just tell Michael Doherty loses all of his confidence in the film. And one thing I'll say is too is Adam Wingard says in a recent interview that whole point was to show Kong was not stronger than Godzilla because he's a Godzilla fan before Kong. He loves Kong, but he said he came out and said that he never intended Kong to be better than Godzilla. And he wanted to he made that movie out of spite to his friend that he went to school with that said Kong was stronger and better than Godzilla. And he said that's why he made that movie was to show him how wrong he would be. And and of course, you know, all the other things intertwined that whatever, whatever. But Adam Wingard said, yeah, Godzilla was always going to win. There's no way. Well, I I, I like what you said. Uh, I kind of compare it, going back to the Star Wars thing, Michael Doherty, you're absolutely right, was saying, hey, man, take a billion of your friends to see this movie. It was kind of like when Mark Hamill was coming out doing the rounds for The Last Jedi. I was like, well, you know, 
It's a Star Wars movie. <laughs> and he, you can see it in his, you can see it in his face. He wasn't feeling it. So in that regard, that's why I say, you know, when Michael Doherty loses faith in his own movie, he knew something was wrong. So now I don't blame Michael Doherty because it could have been studio interference for the, the, the shit yeah. I didn't like for that movie. I believe absolutely 100% that Michael Doherty is a huge Godzilla fan. Probably the number one out of the out of all four directors. I'm, I'm in, uh, including uh, uh, Skull Island, Voight. What's his last? You know what I'm talking about. Jordan Vaught Roberts. John yeah. Voight Roberts, yep. But at the same time, you like Chase said, you did see it. Like It did seem like... There was a major lack of confidence going into King of the Monsters. For the fucking love of God, they lit up the Dubai Tower. They lit up the Dubai Tower. And, and that's a whole other thing, too, the marketing. Yeah. So, I mean, uh-huh. and that was a good thing because you look at Godzilla vs. Kong, the marketing wasn't crazy. So it made its money yeah. back. Let's see what GXK does. I'm really looking forward to that. Gang Games, you've been quiet up there. I want to hear some things from you. Anything you take from this that you have a spin on. I mean, I guess the more and more that we have to look back on, the more and more it unfortunately, as much as I fucking love that movie, it, it becomes the the sobering fact that King of the Monster is, in fact, the last Jedi of the MonsterVerse, and I'm sad about that fact. <laughs> and, you, and you know what's funny about the last Jedi? Say what you will. Because I agree, that movie is damn conf- like uh, competently shot, and I do like that movie, just not as a Star Wars film. Whereas the opposite of like King of the Monsters, it does come off like The Last Jedi, but it is my favorite fucking Godzilla film for what it does do right. And that's, again, why I don't like Godzilla vs. Kong, because it, there were things I thought that they just do right. <laughs> It did everything right and then got a bag of chips on top of it. Because if you think about it, who didn't come back and who's coming back? That's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, no. Yeah, I, unfortunately, the public liked what Wingard had to offer. You know why? You know? Because it was dumb, simple entertainment, and it didn't try to do anything other than Big Monkey and Big Lizard, which is fine. Oh, so, 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 so you mean the Super Mario Brothers movie? I, 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 I ain't seen, I ain't seen it. I haven't seen none of that. But all I'm saying is, I'm coming off of Dungeons and Dragons for like the umpteenth time. That movie kept fucking simple. And sometimes simple fucking works. And in some cases, it really fucking works. And in the case of Godzilla vs. Kong, before everything happened with COVID and stuff, we were going to get almost a two-hour and 30-minute film of a whole Godzilla and Kong adventure where they were going into Skull Island and all of this stuff, and all that got scrapped. And that's where my biggest fear is with going forward, is I hope they're not going to reuse what was cut into this film. Well, that, that, you know, that would be the last I'm Jedi. Um, then that would be actually The Rise of Skywalker. But I digress. See, so here's the thing, and this is where i got to push back a little bit on that, Chase. Um... Only because usually with novelizations, they will add all of that in there. If you read, and I, we keep going back this to Star Wars. This wasn't a novelization, though. This was a behind the scenes thing no, no. that they were doing in Hawaii. But listen to what I'm trying to say here. If you had that, all of that stuff, it's in the script. When the, when the writer of the novel starts the book, they go based off of the script. So. All of that would have been... Yeah, and they based the novel off of the second-to-last draft. Right, so if they were filming all the stuff and all of a sudden they started cutting things out because of COVID, it, it would have been in there. And don't get me wrong, because there, me and Gabby, we, we've read the book. Um, there were some sequences in the book that were definitely not in the movie. And again, well... One of the biggest things I got mad at the movie for What was, I can tell you, there was a lot of scenes... Go ahead. I said, one of the biggest things I get mad at the movie for is um, them not focusing more on Serizawa. Because that is 
that's supposed yeah. to be the emotional punch in the movie. Now, don't get me wrong. The little girl is a great foil to that, if, if you will. Because I loved her. I, to this day, I watch, I'm like, yeah, that little girl's perfect in this movie. Um, Godzilla's side of the plot would have been so much better if Sarah Zawa was more fleshed out. I'm and, just saying. And I 100% agree with that. Absolutely. That was probably my biggest gripe of that you movie. Mean, you mean your son, right? Ren, Renzer Sarah Zawa? Yes. yes. Yep. I mean, okay. Okay. I think they name dropped him twice. You don't, there's like no, no feeling for that character if you're not invested or you don't know. The, the novel fleshed him out more. The novel gave him more nuance. They, that was sorely missed in this. Mm-hmm. But. And that's my, the novel's my preferred way of consuming the plot of Godzilla vs. Kong. Listen, someday, eventually, just like me, you shall see the light. <laughs> you will see that movie for what it is and you will say oh my god I love this movie <laughs> I'm looking at you okay. Shinji well, I, the, the, no 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 I've been trying to say this for the past couple of minutes the one thing the, the things that I saw that pertained Godzilla and Kong being longer one of the things that was brought up in this behind the scenes things was um Alexander Skarsgård fighting off a whole bunch of those Apex guys after they crashed on the beach in Skull Island, and that was obviously cut. But it was all done. You could see him in the clothing, everything. It was all finished. So that's where I'm like talking about. And like the movie was supposed to be a lot longer too. But but the thing is, I didn't I didn't hate Godzilla vs Kong. I loved Godzilla vs Kong. So I didn't have any problem, any problems with it. But I'm just saying that's I, there was a lot of things that I saw that and and read about that were going to be implemented in the film that got cut, and I just hope they don't show up because I'll know. And if they show up in the next film, you know, I'm gonna be kind of like, well, no, no, I mean, see, I'm not expecting it. I'm not we'll expecting it to be stock footage, but you know, but I mean, like, you know, but yeah. <laughs> See, Chase, what's going to happen is they're going to just do the same thing. Shoot a lot of footage and then just cut it down because studio mandates. Yeah, yeah plus well, I see... And, and that's the thing, too. It says they're going back to Skull Island to uncover more mysteries, but, um, but Skull Island's supposed to be uninhabitable. So yeah, it was, what does it, that mean? It was basically engulfed in the novel. I wish we would have seen that. Um, Alexander Skarsgård's not in this movie. I saw some of the cast leaks and he was not there. And he would have been on that list. Uh, yeah, but they've also said that. Um, well, they said Rebecca Hall's returning. She's in it. But I don't see her in the cast list. Then. No, she. But they also said Dr. Chen was returning and she was credited in the movie and we didn't see yeah. her. And also yeah, Kaylee Hoddle. Yeah, who plays Jaya or Gia. Yep, she's, she's supposed coming. to be in it too. But uh, but I think they do credit her. And then uh, I forget his name. The 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 podcast guy. Yeah, he's coming back. Oh, Bernie's, Bernie's coming back. Bernie's, Bernie's, coming, Bernie's, coming, Bernie's back. coming back too. So, and that's the thing. You would have seen Skarsgård's name because. Well, he, not exactly. No, <laughs> no. He played a major <laughs> role in the last one. Here. He played a major role in the last one. There's no way if he was coming back. They would not have announced that. He played a major role. Listen. Unless he comes in and he gets killed right off the bat. That would be terrible. Listen, all I'm saying is I can't wait for Godzilla X Kong family starring Vin Diesel. (laughs) (laughs) Bro, everything, I fucking swear to God, when I saw the X, I thought of you right away. I said, he's going to say family. And then, you as we start the podcast, coming. it completely, like, slipped my mind, and there it is. Son of a gun. I'm a what, if what if this other, like, Kong is, like, Kong's son, but he's a son Kong never knew he had? And that's where the our son of Kong comes in? No. <laughs> Kong's just confused as shit, like, how are you? Yeah, you ran out on me when I was two, Dad. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. You it's, were drunk. It's definitely like my dad, dad. <laughs> It's definitely going to be King Kong Lives Redux. And everybody's going to be... And and that's not a bad idea, necessarily. I just... I I don't know. Like, I got confused when I saw another eight and the eyes were blue. I was like, yeah. Not only were the eyes blue, but the the pupil was 
orange. It was glowing orange. Yeah. The iris was... Wait, am I right? Yeah, the pupil was red, orange, and the iris was blue. Glowing. Both. And, and it's great, because, it, again, that leads to so much speculation. So I was talking to my boy at work, right, when I was leaving. My guy at work, huge Godzilla fan, right? This is where me and him bond. And... Uh, He's a, he was oblivious. He had no idea. So I'm leaving work. And I see him and I go, whoop, whoop, come here. And he was like, something happened. I said, yep. First thing he goes, Toho, drop something? I go, no, 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 legendary. He goes, what? So I show him the teaser, right? And he was like, oh, shit. Like, he loved it. He loved it. Um, where was I going? Oh, we started talking about, like, there's so much mystery that that still is unanswered. For instance, all right, Kong goes down to the Hollow Earth. You see that giant outline that glows of of a Godzilla, and he gets the axe from there. Right, he gets the spine axe from that. You can explore things like that. You could go in depth with things like that. It's the Hollow Earth. We see that was what. One entry point to the Hollow Earth. We knew Kong, we knew Skull Island was another Hollow Point entry, Hollow Earth entry. There has to be more, right? One would think maybe I mean, the, Godzilla made one. Godzilla made one. The Bermuda <laughs> Triangle, maybe. Wait, what did you say? Well, they also said Godzilla's lair was an entrance to the Hollow Earth too before it got nuked. Could have been because I mean, there's a full on temple zipping around, full on temple. So I mean, like, there's a lot of there's a lot of things to play with in this movie that the previous movies set up. Is it, I, my question is: Is anybody going to acknowledge the giant fuck you hole that Godzilla made all the way down to the Hollow Earth in Hong Kong? That's what is I was that just going to be there. That's what I was saying. He made one. There, now there's a new entrance straight down, too. That's what I was going to mention, too. Like, could you imagine for another Star Wars note that this e- this evil Kong is the emperor and the thing that goes and fights Godzilla is, like, doing the emperor's bidding? And oh, then <laughs> Kong and, Kong and Obi Zilla have to join forces. Kong watch Skywalker it. and Obi Zilla. <laughs> watch, watch it be Destroyer. Destroy as Darth Vader. Please, please no. don't do it. Please, don't do it. Please, please don't do Destroy just, it. Please, just, no. just leave it alone. That was the thing, dude. The wifey, she's like, "Where's Destroy?" I'm like, "You shut." I don't want him touching Destroy. No, I don't want him touching him. Right now, don't give them ideas. No. Yeah, don't. <laughs> stay as far away. The closest thing you could do to get to Destroy is bag on. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Do that. Just Do get that. Get better director for Destroyer. What was that, Chase? Baggins overrated. Yeah. Yeah. Baggins we... never been, had a chance to be rated to begin with. I don't know. Hey. Baggins overrated. I don't know. He had four chances. And that's, why, and that's why they made Destroyer instead. Because, like, yeah, Baggins lame. Let's just make Destroyer. That's literally what happened with Toho. No, Toho was like, all right, we got to kill Godzilla. How can we do it? Oh, what if we bring back the oxygen destroyer and then do full circle? Perfect. Let's go. And it was. Right. It was but Bagon was, it was a descendant or, an, excuse me, an ascendant of Destroyer before Destroyer became Destroyer. So easy. Destroyer is the I outcome mean- of Bagon. I mean, if if we're going by that logic, then then so is Ghost Godzilla. Yeah. Well, no, that's literally what Tom was said. Destroyer yeah. was the was the end result of Baggin. Destroyer's supposed to be Baggin, but but not like the character. They scrapped Baggin and added Destroyer to be that monster. Hold on. All Hold they on. did was give him the horn. Hold on. Why the fuck haven't we got Ghost Godzilla yet? I'm still on the ship. Because you hate Godzilla versus Kong. Ghost, Ghost Godzilla is coming in uh in this year November, twenty twenty three. It's all it's all connected. He's the Force Godzilla. <laughs> Force Godzilla. All the Star Wars stuff. It's coming full circle. 
shit, I don't want Kathleen Kennedy behind this. Yeah, no, scrap oh, it. No, Stop no, talking no, about no. it. She ruins everything she fucking touches. Abort mission. Hey, they're hey. ruining Indiana Jones next. No, she's not. Indiana Jones and Oh my god. Oh my god. Just because this season of The Mandalorian doesn't seem to be everybody's cup of tea, I have not seen it. I've actually, I've actually started watching Star Trek Picard. I was like, oh, I'm gonna watch Mando Which season three now. Season? I'm up to season three right now. I love it. I hear season three is fucking good. I, I I loved season one and two. I can't lie. I don't see anything wrong with anything. There was. Uh, this Where's is not going to be. Phone? I'm calling the police. Call the police. Call the police. Tell them to come here. Star <laughs> Star Base. Whatever the fuck you want. Deep space dick. I will get them. That shit was really good. Deep space Goji. Yeah, it was good. I don't care. It was good. I didn't understand the. I didn't understand the hate it was getting. I was like, why is everybody mad at this show? There's one thing. That's a different. Oh, yeah, that's different, different podcasts for us. Godzilla X Kong, um, the New Empire, coming in one year <laughs> to a theater near you. That's not how we're signing this off. Look, no. again, there's not much to dissect Wait, from the okay, trailer. I, I, one thing I want to say is, one thing I've noticed, and maybe you guys have noticed too, and this could be exciting, is that usually lately, when there has been MonsterVerse news... Toho has dropped something Godzilla related right after, which is funny because last week that picture came around of that fake Godzilla picture, and maybe this spawned Legendary to be like, oh, we need to post something. And now it makes me wonder, does that mean Toho is going to finally show something too for their next Godzilla, whatever is planned? Save, so, save that. I save guess that we picture. can be excited. Save that picture for the next. That that was what I wanted to talk about at that in that tomorrow's podcast that I wanted to do. But I also wondered, I said, okay, Telho's dropping a Godzilla movie this year. Where's the trailer? And th- th- and then I started to say, I said, well, don't get ahead of yourself, man. We went through this with Shin Godzilla. Where's the trailer? Where's the trailer? Where's the trailer? And they dropped something. Oh, God, where's the other trailer? Where's the... And it took time. It took time. The fact that Legendary that dropped this... a long time. But, yeah, <laughs> but the fact that Legendary dropped this a year out from when it's coming... This isn't Comic-Con season. What the fuck are they doing? So, I, I, this is what I want to ask. Next March is going to be... Next March is going to be scheduled to be jam-packed with tons of movies. But, all right, but my point, my point is this. What is the logic behind Legendary... Dropping this trailer, this teaser, a year early because all it's going to do is rile us up. So I, I'm asking if, if you have any idea, any conception. I don't care how crazy it is um, or serious. I think it's be, I think it's because of Toho. I think Toho is going to be putting out something soon. And not only that, we got to remember, guys, we even have a Kong Skull Island anime coming soon as well. So you got the MonsterVerse TV show. You got the the Kong anime, you have Godzilla, you got the Kong, Kong Skull Island thing, uh, and hopefully Singular Point 2. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of Godzilla stuff coming out. No. God. I... Merchandising! Oh my. Godzilla we... X Kong the shirts! Godzilla oh. X Kong the breakfast cereal! Godzilla X Kong the flamethrower! Yeah. <laughs> the kids love that one. <laughs> Yes, it's merchandising. You got to get the products out. Godzilla's a household name now. Bada bing. Yeah, because there's going to be a toy expo pretty soon, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there is. Monster Art. Shooter July. It's, it's going to be Monster Arts who drops the designs and all the monsters, just like they did King of the Monsters. It's going to be the same. Get in and get that get that teaser out because we want the fans ready for what we're doing with the figures. JR, JR, it's not gonna be Tamashi Nations this time around. It's gonna be Hyatt Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Hey, I got that Hyatt Toys Rodan real quick, and um I got some shit to say about it, but not uh, here. I, I, it's because you got Rodan. You're I, not I, supposed to get Rodan. He's the worst fellow kaiju. Alright, you're, 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 you're no longer the right hand when it comes to Godzilla. 
You are no longer the right hand when it comes to Godzilla on DJ. You can't be gonna say that when Gabbro fucking exists. How are you gonna say that? When there's literally, I love that bro. I ain't gonna talk shit about it, bro. But there's worse out there. How you gonna? You make. Oh, uh, dude, I did that just because of Ray. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was a dirty low blow, bro. You that, gave, was, that was really low. That you, you got me riled. Yeah, you, you, kicked so dirty, you kicked me in the nuts. So dirty, bro. You kicked me in the nuts and dirty Zilla Sanchez. Me. That, that's fucked up. You kicked me in the nuts and dirty Sanchez. Me. That's that's all sorts of fucked up. But no, you know what? I did not think about the merchandising thing. That makes all the sense in the fucking world. Let's let's drop a little small teaser just to show and acknowledge to the people who might not know this is happening. This movie is coming yeah. out um, because I mean we knew we knew it was coming, but I'll be honest, I didn't know it was coming out next year. I thought it was gonna be twenty twenty five to be honest. Um, so I I wasn't even thinking about Godzilla versus Kong uh, two or GVX GXV. GXK, where the fuck am I going? Um, oh yeah, I was thinking Those more guys, like guys, uh, I was thinking more along the lines of where is the MonsterVerse TV show? Like I know that's in production. Yeah. Start showing stuff from that. The the Skull Island it Netflix right thing. Here. It says right here May Fourteenth Toy Fair Expo. Yep. Oh boy. Wow. That's what I mean. Bro. Ooh, that's I'm what nervous. I'm. I'm saying. They I'm they dropped that. <laughs> they dropped that to like, hey, it's coming. Here's the new villain. Because if they were just gonna drop those toys, people were gonna be like, why is there a fucking random ape that doesn't look like Kong but looks like Kong? Yeah. People would have been like, what the fuck are they doing? You drop the teaser, you get the hype going. The toys come out in a few weeks. Yeah. Or the the announcement for the toys come out in a few weeks. This pisses me off. Yeah, everyone get ready for a ring Yep. <laughs> a ring Kong and Mechan- Kong. <laughs> yeah, we may even see this usurper's name yeah. in the toilet. Right? This is his name's like Craig. <laughs> this is what pisses me off because I wanted, again, the idea for this week was to do a Godzilla block party. And it was to speculate on this movie. And talk about the Toho stuff and the TV show and the toys because I was on a big bad toy store and I was going through some stuff and I was like, damn, son. Um, but then this dropped today and I, yeah, I had, I, I was like, why well, is this? Because this is not going to run with anything that comes out this week or next week or the following week or Guardians of the Galaxy. This is not going to run. This isn't a, this isn't a teaser they put in theaters, although. This is just a title drop. Yeah, it's just a title drop. Um, it, yeah, it didn't make sense to me, but as soon as you said merchandise, I'm like, fuck, the toys, they're going to stop coming. And, uh, speaking, speaking of all that stuff you wanted me to look up and find for you, do you still want me to hold that off? Because that one tidbit I sent you was from a spoiler thing. Uh, For this movie? For Godzilla, for GVK2, yeah. Was it? And that, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you want me to say it, but that's what that came out of. Uh, mm. uh, yeah, I mean, shit. I, I mean, we're already that's, here. That's, that's, that's the whole Space God. We're already here. here. Let's talk about it. Yeah, that's the whole That's the whole thing is the Space God. So what they were saying was was it was going to be Space Godzilla and Biollante. Well. And then, like, well, something that monkey didn't was, look like either one of them. It wasn't going to be too separate, but it was that it was going to start with um, Violante, and it was going to, like, start to morph itself into Godzilla, and then Kong fought, Kong and Godzilla team up to fight it. So Orga? Yeah, I was going to say, so it's Orga. No. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, but if you think about it, Violante is just a, a, you know, if they go through that, that Violante was a... A DNA clone of Godzilla. Okay. I, I prefer the, the orangutan ape now. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously we have that, but the thing is, it's they, they, they're, they're, there are two villains in this film. God, I hope not. Well, here's the thing, though. Remember, this is all purely the speculation. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be two villains, and then, then Godzilla and Kong are supposed to be on a collision course. 
through all of these things they're doing to to fight both of them at the end of the film. That's what this whole entire thing was. It's being like talked about is that I can. So my can, thing is, is yeah. how does this all pan out? So I can guarantee you this: nobody except the people with the know in the know making the movie knew anything about this other simian ape, which is the same fucking thing, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was talking about a Godzilla type foe. We all were. Yeah. We all were. And and that's not fair to Kong, if you think about it. And that's weird saying that because it's a fictional character. But it's not fair to Kong. But then you look at Kong and you go, all right, well, who is Kong for? Godzilla and a robot version of himself. Oh, and Gorosaurus. <gasps> Gorosaurus confirmed, bitches! Hollow Earth Gorosaurus <laughs> in the house! I mean... I mean, not looking at it that specifically, yeah, Kong has mostly just fought dinosaurs, a robot version of himself, and Godzilla. Right. And lost to a winged cobra. He did lose. He was dead. Thank the humans into being. And I... I did say that, too. Would it be such a fucking stretch to say Mechanic Kong? Honestly... (laughs) It would, but would that be Cyber, <laughs> Apex Cybernetics added again. Instead of a robot Godzilla, now they make a robot monkey. No. Please they make no. they make a robot Vin Diesel and he drives a nineteen sixty nine Dodge Charger. It's all about family Kong. It's all about family Kong. <laughs> Godzilla don't got no family! Only Kong has family! Which, which again, brings me back to my reasoning behind this is King Kong lives the redux. It's all about family. It's Kevin Sorbo. It's Kevin Sorbo, JR. Oh, my God. It's going to come back. He's going to make another Hercules TV series with Sam Raimi. No. All I'm saying is... (laughs) Yeah, I, I, we're probably going to see some toys from this really soon. That means the collectors out there and in our group here. I'm looking at you, Gam Gam. I'm looking at you, JR. I see you, Shin Ramzilla. That It's going to start. It's going to start. The question is, does G1 want to be spoiled? That's the problem. This is what I have to avoid. The spoilers for this movie in regards to the monsters... Because this shit is a year away. And if you're saying May is going to have a fucking toy fair? Yeah, May 14th. Then we have one in June as well. Yeah. I, I swear to God, I thought they started in August. Then I would have been like, all right, August is... Actually, toy fair is supposed to take place in February. And okay. that didn't happen. Okay. Yeah, that's like... yeah. So that's where I was like, where the fuck is toy fair? And toy fair is where... Monster Arts is, and Haya Toys now, and NECA, which NECA ain't doing Godzilla shit, and Super 7, that's where they're like, here's our prototypes of what's coming from the movies and stuff, because we know we're getting a 1972 Godzilla for Monster Arts, but that that, that ain't the only thing they're slated to announce Godzilla-related. Oh, no, we have Toy Fest April 22nd. So, this week... So we yeah, could be getting it as soon as... That's yeah. Saturday. That's yeah, this so, Saturday. Oh, my God. That's what I mean. It, it makes logical sense. Because remember, with King of the Monsters, we had a teaser trailer, and then Monster Arts and Michael Doherty showed off the design of the figures, even though the Ghidra was inaccurate. We knew what they looked like at that point because yeah, of the yeah, figures, and that's when NECA announced their stuff and showed it off. It's going to happen. But we it, also, it's, it is going to happen. But in regards to that, we also knew what was coming in that movie. We knew it was going to be King Ghidra. We knew it was going to be Rodan. But we knew Mothra was going to be Design-wise, we didn't know the designs, how they that, look. And, I, and that's, that's where it is here. That's fine. We also didn't know yeah. how they were going to fucking sound, Michael Doherty. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Wait, see, see? I, I get then, lost. I get lost. We but also have Toy Con May 21st. So, yeah. But what I'm saying is we knew what Monsters was going to be in that already. It's like with Kong, with Godzilla versus Kong. 
Nobody knew a Skullcrawler was going to be in that movie until the toys dropped and released it. Like, oh, Skullcrawler. Oh, exactly. Shit, and it was um, Playmates that spoiled all the designs for what was going to be in the movie because we knew about the snake monster. Right. We knew about the Skullcrawler. And then Mechagodzilla's design was dropped because of the toys about a year before the movie came out. Which, yeah, we knew about Mechagodzilla before anybody else. Yeah. yeah. Which means that... So. Which means I'm just that saying. if not if not this weekend, next month, we're gonna be fucked. <laughs> I'm and, gonna be fucked. And I hope I'm wrong, but that's how it's happened with all of these movies so far. Right, so I'm, I'm going I'm going in right now. If the toy leaks prove Destroya or fucking Baggin or anybody else is gonna be in this movie. We're going to come right back in here, and I'm just going to start off the podcast by saying, God damn it. <laughs> and I will let you. I will absolutely let you. I will I will do the count now, give you the green light, and, yeah, we start from that. I don't well, want this to happen. The one thing that they said um, pertaining to the Apple show is that it, it's not going to be a tie-in to this, but they do have, like, a moment to where it kind of has, like, a minor reference, but it's not, like, a huge thing. No, the show that's, is its own separate thing. That's a problem. Yeah. You need to, you need to have more than just... Because if you're unveiling a new big bad that's just been around since ancient times... That, that, that has not been talked about or shown in any prior movie, mind you. You gotta have more than a little mention. What? Why not just be like, like cave drawings? Oh yeah, it's this monster. You know, you have an opportunity to expand upon these new monsters for that, your next that, few films. That was also said by the director of the show, and you know how much can he really say? Yeah, you know. So yes. yeah, my thing is I'm just taking that with a grain of blood because it's not like – I don't think that's not going to happen. I mean why why make this TV show then if it's not going to have any purpose? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's how that's I feel. I, that's exactly how I feel. It's like if this TV show is not going to have nothing to do with this movie, then this TV show needs to take place in between Godzilla and King of the Monsters. Yeah. And, and that's what it's doing. Oh, then – and this takes place right after 2014. So in that regard, that's not a bad thing. But like JR said, you can still make reference to future events. And yeah. if... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, we don't even know when this TV show is supposed to drop. Yeah, what's... We got a film announcement before we figured out when this TV show is fucking coming out. And that yeah. that actually gets under my skin. Yeah, it's a release date. We got a film announcement. We got a film release date. And we got this TV show announced that it exists before we found out anything yeah. about the Kong and, eh? and our butts buckering preparing for the toy fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that toy fair. But no, it's true. It's... If the show comes out before... Uh, it... <sighs> I can't see it. We now. got an announcement and we're on the verge of a whole ass Gamera anime before we got Kong anime. That is true. And we have the next Koho film is supposed to come out in November. Yeah, I that's see birthday. that's that's a weird slot. That's all I'm gonna say is you have a Godzilla TV series, a Kong anime, and then you have a Toho Godzilla film. That's a whole lot of Godzilla cram packed into the end of this year. And it's like, it's a little overwhelming for me because it's like, holy shit, where, what's where? No, no, no. What that is is a big fuck you to Disney, to Marvel, to Star Wars, to even my beloved DC. A camera. Not to camera. No, no, no. We need more camera. Listen. <laughs> no, I'm joking. The more. No, at this point, camera is beneath Godzilla. Oh, yeah, it's true. It's true. Hopefully this animated uh, series is going to kick all sorts of ass, which was another thing we needed to talk about on the Godzilla Block Party, just not this one. Oh, shit. Because I don't think we did the trailer review. 
We didn't. No, we didn't. It ain't happening. At that point, we didn't want to be spoiled. It ain't happening. No, see, it ain't happening here. That's a different touch, you touchy, touchy motherfucker. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Damn, well, listen, I mean, I don't know. Is there anything else y'all need to say about this? Because I think at this point in time... I think we stretched out those 30 seconds long enough. We, we definitely did. So uh, I guess that will do it for this episode of Godzilla Block Party. I mean, for 36 seconds of a fucking teaser, we went, ran the gamut with that, gamut with that, talked about a toy fair. It makes the most sense now. Now I understand. Why would they drop this trailer? Now? To me, it didn't make sense. But toy fair is coming up. Toy Fairs as early as this Saturday. Uh, uh, next month, it's... Yeah, we're going to see a lot more of this before we see a lot more of anything else. And that actually... Matter of fact, let me ask you a quick question. I'm going to go with you, uh, Game Games. Mm. These Toy Fairs that are happening, is this just like, let's say, for like uh, Monster Arts and higher Toys and all that stuff, is this just for the legendary stuff or could possibly there be something from Toho in regards to twenty to this November 2023 Godzilla film? Now, if, if I know how the past has been with stuff like Bandai and stuff when it comes to the Toho Godzilla movies and like how it was for Shin and all that, I doubt it. Okay. Um, I don't think we're going to see much merchandise of that new Toho Godzilla movie until, like, September, personally. Okay. All right, so we're saying... Yeah, the, the Shin Godzilla figure, that got literally announced right before the movie dropped. Yeah. But we knew like, what Shin Godzilla looked like at that time. Yeah. You know, I, that's what I mean. I'm like, are we going to see... Toho's new Godzilla within the next two, three months. No, I, or two, three days. I don't I don't think okay. I don't think we're going to see the new Toho Godzilla. I I honestly think Toho's gonna keep that close to the chest because that's because it's weird. We're in a weird time right now where we have a lot of American Godzilla and then we have Toho doing a Japanese Godzilla where they're gonna hold that close to the chest. Let this teaser trailer come out, let the figures for the new movie come out, and they're just going to hold it, hold it, hold it, and we're going to see something in August. I'm guaranteeing you, in August, we'll get the trailer for the Toho Godzilla film. Oh, well, mm-hmm. by that time, we would need it. I can see that, too. Yeah. yeah. The, then it's something like three, four months away. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Godzilla Block Party. I want to thank all of y'all for being here. But first, I want to thank... You can him for hanging out with us today. Of course. Can't wait to talk about some more things in the future. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to plug it real quick. Be sure to check it out because we will have episode three of the G1 and Z1 show. That's coming soon. Definitely within this month. JR! Brother JR, you psycho man's motherfucker. Thank you for joining us today, and you are so wrong on so many levels when it comes to GVK. Listen, Kong has family, and Godzilla doesn't. If he, if Ben Diesel's not this movie, I swear to God. I mean, if Fast X is coming out in a couple of weeks, G It's going to be there. Yeah, I mean. It ties in. It ties in. Maybe that's where this... Maybe that's where this te- teaser drops. In that oh, yeah. G73, a.k.a. Megzi, a.k.a. my brother Chase, thank you for joining us today. Oh, absolutely. It was a blast being here with all of you guys once again. I've missed our Full House podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Um, and again, thank you all for being out there and hanging out with us for an hour and almost 20 minutes to talk about 36 seconds. I am G1, this is the Godzilla Block Party, and we are out of here. Peace.